This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing here. Collision types. There are four. Oh, wait. What happened? Okay. There are four types of collision we use in game. Oh, it just falls through. Lame. In game lab. Displace, collide, bounce, and bounce off. These blocks will cause a certain type of interaction between the sprite and the target. And keep in mind, the target will usually be another sprite. Do this. Choose the best block to model the basketball's interaction with the floor. Show me where. And it will point out it wants it in the draw loop. Keep in mind the draw loop runs 30 times a second. All right. So here's the basketball's velocity. Got it. And a rotation speed. Hint, you can try out different blocks or read more about or read more about them and help and tips. Yeah, if I hover over a block, guys, right, bounce off and click see examples, it will give me a ton of info. Now, they have made this a bit trickier, I think, than they let on. But let's give this a shot. I'm going to just drop in uh, bounce for now. And what's nice about this is we can look at the animation. The floor is a sprite and so is the basketball. I could also see that just scroll up here. All right, so I'm going to say, sure, I want the basketball, right, to bounce on the floor. I think that's what they titled them as well. Oh, nope, wood. All right, let's hit run. And it, this isn't going to work how we hope. Uh-oh, what happened there? Well, the floor bounced wood. Okay, well, let's flip them. I mean, the floor bounced the, the basketball bounced the floor, I guess is how you say it, the wood. what it didn't matter okay well now uh let's try to switch let's do bounce off let's start with basketball boom and so this is the interaction that we would like keep in mind the velocity is going to continue to increase slowly and that's actually what's forcing the basketball back down because the draw loop runs 30 times a second we're using a counter pattern right here to increase the basketball's velocity, right? And if you increase Y, if you look down here, you can tell 400 Y is way down here, zero Y is way up there. So if each time we run the draw loop, we increase Y, that pushes something down faster. The thing that counteracts that is the bounce off, which makes it fly zoop, back up here. Now the draw loop runs 30 times a second, so we're constantly putting some velocity downward onto the basketball. However, it still doesn't look like enough to counteract the bounce off effect because you notice the basketball stays up longer and longer, but pretty cool. Uh, we're going to be able to make a lot of neat interactions and games with the blocks we're learning about. Very handy stuff. Keep in mind, there's a conditional in there, right? Because the conditional, there's an if statement in these, which is if the basketball is touching the wood, then bounce off. It's like a shortcut in code, and we'll learn a lot more. Let's keep going.